Some parents in Hamden breathing a sigh of relief after their missing teen daughter is found safe on the other side of the country. Good afternoon, I'm Chris Velarde. Keith Kuntz is off today and a California man is under arrest. Police say he flew a Hamden teen across the country. The girl is now safe. News 8's Noelle Gardner is gathering information on this story. She's live in the New Haven newsroom with the latest. Hamden detectives cracking this case in less than 24 hours. In a bizarre jailhouse interview, the suspect says he was just trying to help the teen and that he had good intentions. 27-year-old Nathan Salas is sitting in a Sacramento jail on federal charges after a cross-country flight with a 14-year-old Hamden girl he met online. It was to just get her away from a, an ab abusive house. Not physical, but mental, verbal, and medically uh, abusive. We're not really abused via medicine, but denied medical assistance or aid from everything from dental to vision to health. Hamden police issuing a silver alert for 14-year-old Emma Tobin after she disappeared Monday. Police say Salas flew from Sacramento to Connecticut, bringing the teen back to California. Her parents finding a note and a cell phone she left behind. Hamden police entered her name into a national database for missing children. Messaging on the website itself. Then it switched over to Facebook because the messaging system on the website, the first website, Spells of Magic, was really slow. Mm -hmm. And then it switched over from Facebook to texting. Mm -hmm. And then from texting to PlayStation, the PlayStation 3 uh, Motion Eye, which is a webcam with a microphone on it. The electronic evidence leading police to Salas and the teen was all over the website and tech devices they both used to communicate, including this website, Wicca. Detectives say they met in January and formed an online relationship. When asked if the communication was sexual, Salas told a Sacramento TV station the girl developed feelings for him, but he felt sisterly toward her. I told her, I said, Strictly friends, nothing else. And I told her, I said, don't, don't think that I'm playing hard to get because I'm not. Hamden detectives checked with the airlines when the teen went missing. Both names were on a U.S. air flight to California. On Monday night, authorities were in place to detain Salas and the teen as they landed at Sacramento International Airport. The moment the officer put the handcuffs on my hand, told me it was a felony charge, the moment I looked at my total bail, which was, which is $100,000, it, at that exact moment, it hit home that no matter how good of intentions I had, this was the biggest mistake I had ever made in my entire life. And Salas was arrested for intentionally concealing a child. He's sitting in a Sacramento jail on a $100,000 bond. I'm live in the New Haven newsroom, Noel Gardner, News 8.